all protocol are observed. Reading from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. For we are his creation, created in Jesus Christ for good works, which God prepared ahead of time so that we should walk in them. May our hands. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity that you have given us. We have assembled, Lord, in this area, affording this hour an opportunity, Lord, that we give our praise to you. We understand that covering a period of 100 years, it can only be done if your hand is involved. We thank you, Father, that we have been doing the great work. In your way, Father, you said that you have called us, not for anything, but to do the great work that you have prepared for us ahead of time. Indeed, our institution has been known for 100 years for doing great work. But I pray at this moment that as we take a different time, a new turn has been taken. I pray, Lord, that this must be in, in, in the mind of everyone who is part of this institution, that we shall strive to do great work and nothing else, so that your glory may be fulfilled. We thank you, we give you honor for everyone, Lord, who has been part of this institution in building it from the beginning. Father, we pray, Lord, that you protect them, you prosper them, even in this time, Lord, uh, where our country is facing this pandemic. But we pray that you protect that from this institution, no one, Lord, will die as a result of this pandemic. But I pray that you fulfill, Lord, your will in us. I pray that you shower all those who are going to stand in this podium, Lord, you shower them with your glory so that, Father, this institution may return to its former glory in the eyes of the community. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask for thank you. Amen. In me, you can't have success unless you work for it. Unquote. Those are inspirational words I got from my grade 9 English teacher, Ms. Bikini Moody. I quote, You are too relaxed. Make sure you all work extra hard to get a place at university because there are a thousand more students competing for the same spot. Unquote. My SET English teacher made, it made reality sink in for me and my classmates. It is then that I realized that entering the gates of Stenger Secondary School every morning had a reward far greater, bigger than academic excellence. Here, in this very school, we are cared for by our teachers. It is, on, it is our safe haven. Greetings to the school governing body, the school principal, Mr. G. M. Songo, the deputy principal, Mrs. P. Nyasri, to all my lucky teachers and to my fellow students. It is with great pride and excitement that I, the Tobusa Shange, stand before you all to deliver a celebratory speech. Today marks 100 years since our school was officially opened. Stanley Secondary School was officially opened on the 3rd of August, 1920, under the name Stanger State Indian High School. As we celebrate our 100th anniversary, we share pride in our founders' achievements. Many things have changed in the last 100 years of our school, but what remains a constant is our history of gratitude, a history personified in this beautiful symbol of our proud past, a symbol that will guide us into the future. Stanley Secondary continues to boast on excellence, on excellent record of achievements amongst learners who come from diverse backgrounds. The vision has been and always will be the same. It is to strive for academic excellence and leave no stone unturned when it comes to our education. A vision shared by through the eyes of our forefathers of Stenger Secondary School, the eyes of our first principal, Mr. S. Julapan, a vision that, that prevailed all through the 100 year of our school. 
This morning, we celebrate the work of, our, of the Foundation over the last 100 years. We celebrate our teachers that shape us into better people, even in the outside world. We celebrate, we, we celebrate this huge building and its classrooms that continue to both give birth and shelter for, for all our dreams until such time when we're ready to tackle them head on. To the SDP, keep on working together to promote the well-being of Senegal's community and enhance learning and teaching. To the principal, keep on providing leadership, direction, and coordination within our school. Senegal's secondary needs someone who can share in what the vision should be. Senegal's secondary needs you. To my teachers, I ask that you keep teaching knowledge to your students. I ask that you continue being our pillars of strength at school. I beg that you never give up on us, even when it seems there is no moving forward. Our school wouldn't be where it is today, but the reputation it has, had it not been for the beautiful souls who continue instilling knowledge into us. We thank you all. Finally, to the students, we made it. I can't possibly think of a better way of celebrating 100 years of your school than celebrating it while being in the trip. Although the circumstances may not be ideal, but we have to rise to the occasion. We will rise to the occasion. No pandemic will hinder our success. As a wise man once said, I quote, the onus is on us, unquote. Happy centennial, Senga Secondary. In the spirit of simple person, I salute you. and your prayer is most well received and I pray to God that over the next hundred years we can continue the work that has begun in 1920. Boys and girls, I want to, on behalf of the principal of our school, members of the governing body, our hard-working members of staff, members of Shearsu, members our ex-colleagues, and of course you, the lifeblood of the school, extend a very warm welcome to everyone present here this morning. This event was actually spoken of many, many months ago. In fact, preparations to commemorate the 100th celebration of the school started last year many meetings that were held by the Kingpin organization, Chester. And unfortunately, all events that were planned, that were well thought out, had to be postponed because of COVID-19. COVID-19 disrupted the year, not only for Sanger Secondary, but many other schools who were, that were going to be observing their centenary celebration. With that being said, boys and girls, it is indeed our pleasure this morning to have a very low-key celebration commemorating the day that this institution, this stalwart institution within the environment of Stanger opened its doors to education in 1920. I know in your minds, 1920 is way back when, and you will be correct. Because in 1920, we didn't have the Jaguar that we have now. We had an open top car that Ford, Henry Ford started with. We didn't have the cell phones that you are using now. We had the crank up phone, okay? We don't have the technology that you have now. If a message had to be sent, somebody got on a horseback and rode around and delivered the message. So I'm talking about a period in history that was really, really a long, long time ago. But you're standing in the very same institution that gave education to the community of Stanger. So you may ask, boys and girls, why celebrate 100 years? 100 years is 10 times 10 decades. 
is 1,200 months. It's 5,214 weeks, 36,500 days. And that is really a long, long time to be in the process of education. So, boys and girls, whichever way you look at it, celebrating 100 years of a school's life is a huge milestone that should be recognized and applauded by all who share in education. And especially those of us and you who currently enjoy the educational distinction of this institution. We are also supported by our ex-students and colleagues abroad who've had the privilege of being a part of the school and of gracing the portals of this great institution. During its existence, the school has weathered the changes of many important events of the 20th and 21st centuries. Along the way, the school has adapted to the shifting sands of changing education styles, exams, and expectations, and continue to prepare its students for the life and the workplace beyond the classroom. Now, in its 100th year, Tanga Secondary School can not only look back on its fascinating and worthwhile history with pride, but more importantly, it can use the celebration as a guide to the school community to focus, to rethink, and to prepare a bright and secure future for everyone. It is perhaps timely to remember that the school we know today had a very significant and a very successful past. With individuals gracing the corridors that have occupied every annual of portfolios in the country and abroad. Members of the Stanga secondary community, both past and present, are equipped and ready to take on the challenges of life in our society. Everyone associated with Stanga secondary is committed to being a force for good. This is as true today as it was the day the community decided to open up the doors of this beautiful institution to the Indian community of Stanga. There's an important proverb, people, amongst the Chinese, and it says as follows, if you plan for one year, plant rice. If you plan for 10 years, plant trees. But if you plan for 100 years, educate mankind. We are gathered here on such a special day for this school. We must consider ourselves very fortunate to be part of this school when the school celebrates 100 years. Celebrating a centenary in the milestone of the school is very important. I am quite sure that uh, looking at the rich history of this school, there are legends who have been here, who work tirelessly to ensure that the banner of the school never, never, ever trade the ground. And those people who are working tirelessly day and night to ensure that the interest of the school is always promoted at all costs. When I heard that uh, even the former Minister of Education, Mr. Kada Asmar, was a former learner in the school, I saw that most of the learners who were at the school 
including him, were understanding the motto of the school, the same assassin. That every time you must not aim very low, you must aim high. As they would say, shoot for the moon, even if you miss it, but if you're among the stars. So, this calls upon all of us now to ensure that the glorious history of this school never ever take the crown. It calls upon me, it calls upon you to do your part. You know, somebody said there was a person who was going around the world looking for a perfect person. And the person went around the world and he came back. And that person was very disappointed because he could not find a perfect person, just one perfect person. And then until he went to the old man who told him that, before you go around and look for perfect people, you should start yourself to be perfect. So for us to make sure that this could succeed, you should check yourself. What is your contribution? Are you having a positive contribution or are you having a negative contribution? When we remember you, how are we going to remember you? As we are today remembering the legends who have been in this school, about what they have done for this school. So I'm sure any of you would like to be remembered with a positive contribution. Now, we are on this day, which is a a birthday celebration. And I'm challenging you that during this time of the pandemic, the coronavirus, that it is upon us now. Now we're celebrating 100 years. I want to challenge you that as you celebrate these 100 years, you must try to make sure that you, I'm talking about you individual now, you make sure that at your home, in your family, they are going to get 100%. Now I'm not talking about the school, I'm talking about you and your family. Remember, at the end of the year, even if the school gets 80%, but the 20%, that will not be on the paper. In their family, the family will have got 0%. Mm. Which means, while we celebrate, and people come and, and they celebrate with us, but in your family, there will be disappointment. So I'm challenging you that the school is celebrating 100 years. Can you make yourself some form of history? by making sure that you yourself, individually now, you get 100%. So that in your own family at the end of the year, when the results are announced, your family will celebrate with us because you got them 100%. Because maybe you are one from one family. So if you fail, the family gets 0%. If you pass, the family gets 100%. So I am challenging you that every one of you Try to make some history on this year. That is history in the making, it's 2020, and we are having 100 years of the school. So every one of you should commit themselves to, and pledge to say that I will get 100%. And if you can get that, it will be history in the making that when the school celebrated 100 years, the grade 12 of that year also got 100, 100 100%. If I, 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 I had a chance, I would do this, but I don't want to do it. I was going to ask for a person who is going to fail to raise up the hand. Nobody, 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 nobody. Nobody's failing. Nobody's failing. So, you see, we all want to pass. Therefore, let us work hard. And I always say this. You see, success is more sweeter when it is achieved against, against all odds. So whenever the background is not perfect and you succeed, it's more sweeter. 
So if this year you can get distinctions, you can get the results, everyone will celebrate with you because you got this on a year whereby there was a challenge of the pandemic. I, 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 I want to share this with you. When I did my matric, it was the times of, of, of uh, riots. And uh, at the times of riots, sometimes schools were closed, schools were banned, and all of those things. But when we had to write our matric, I and some of the learners in matric, some of them gave up because of the situation. But we went on to write our matric, and we did make it. So it makes us, it makes this special in our lives that we made it on the year where by the riots. So I'm challenging you that if this year you can make it, it means it, you will have achieved against the odds of the pandemic. So let us go and work hard. Make sure that you make history. Make sure that you work hard to, re, to honor those legends who have been in this institution. Those legends who have worked hard, those legends who have got distinctions, who made the school to be proud. Because all of us, as we are here, the teachers together with you and the government board, our main objective is to promote the interest of the school. principals, staff, governing bodies, and other auxiliary staff. You have kept the flag of Standard Secondary School flying high. Society and schools are going through new challenges that make it difficult to operate optimally. Every precaution must be taken to the safety of our school community in the face of this pandemic. I am certain that the present management and staff will rise to the occasion. Placing the interest of the learner above every other agenda, both now, during the pandemic, and thereafter, is the strategy to embrace. May the Lord lead you in grace and wisdom in the days ahead. In the spirit of Tempest Johnson, I declare greater days ahead for my alma mater, Mr. M. Sumner. I acknowledge members of the Centenary Committee members of the teaching staff and the admin staff and cleaning staff, learners, parents, school governors, well wishes and the Sanger community. It is unfortunate that we are unable to celebrate the school centenary of its big bang and splendor. COVID-19 has gripped the entire world and left many of us grieving personal losses. Although I am not physically present, I am with you in thought and spirit as we celebrate this historic occasion. I am extremely blessed and humbled to have served my alma mater as educator and principal. Sanger Secondary has molded me and made me what I am today. For this, I am truly grateful. All the learners, educators, and principals who have walked the corridors of this esteemed institution can feel very proud today. To the current staff, my Sanger Secondary family. Please take care. One of the lines of the school song is, lives are in the making here. Please ensure that you avoid any loss at all times. Walk away and stay at home if you feel unsafe and vulnerable at any time. Your well-being is of paramount importance. Remember, your lives matter. I wish you well today and in the trying times ahead. Yours in the spirit of Saint Justin, Mr. Gendra. Thank you. Achievement. You have done your final year with me. And the next is on a higher level, going to the university or whatever it is. You've got to be positive in your thinking and get into the right foot top. Now, I, I just want to explain you my family. You know, I was not running my own company, but I just explained you. My wife has schooled here, I schooled here, and my five children have schooled here. My wife has achieved, she's a BA, BA graduate. My son is a physiotherapist. My daughter is a chiropractor, Dr. Susanna Mukala. 
my other daughter is occupational therapist, and my the, the youngest son is a pilot. That's my son. to index and I've done fitness and nutrition to the University of Dublin in the city school of physical culture. The other achievement is in my appendix. I have represented the school and I have captained the school for the KZN. Right. And the other achievement is I move to the next award I achieved the Sport Boy Award in 67. That was my first year at the school. Then we move on to KZN seniors. I represent KZN seniors in four South African championships. Then I went into the veterans, where I represent South Africa in the veterans world championship in Germany. Then I move on to the masters. The veterans was out and the masters came in. Mm. I represented the masters for 15 years and I participated in 11 SA masters. Mm. And I have represented South Africa in Brazil. Mm. And I was about to leave for Canada for, to, to participate in a world masters in the 70 year category. And I'm rated in the first three in South Africa in my division. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is the achievement that I'm trying to put out to you. You gotta have a positive mind. And I hope all of you be positive in your thinking and move in the right direction. Okay, thank you. The vote of ten. On behalf of the school governing body, the SMT, the school management team, and the staff, I wish to extend our most sincere thanks to God Almighty for preserving Standard Secondary School for 100 years. We also thank God for the fraternity of brotherhood and sisterhood that exists among all those associated with the school. I also want to
Can you sit in the quiet eye and remember I'm your great controller on your case.